Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Schaefer from Growing Boulder with another way to look at life during COVID-19, presented by our partners at Florida Blue Medicare. You know, there's so much uncertainty these days and in these times that really one of the best ways to deal with it and move forward is by using, of all things, creativity. I mean, why not? We're all kind of making things up on the fly as it is anyway. Well, we got a guy who can help us through that right now. He's very interesting, teaches at schools, universities, and businesses about using creativity. So from Kingston, Ontario, let's say hi to Trevor Strong. How are you, Trevor? I'm well. Well, you know, all things considered, yeah. Well, it's it's great to see you. And really, uh, who would have thought that we would have been thrust into this situation where we are using an entire different skill set in our lives than we would have before? I mean, spouses have to become creative with each other. Families have to become creative. People are still trying to work from home or find work. So uh, it seems like creativity has taken a big leap forward for us. Yeah, well, I mean, um, you always hear people say, you know, uh, are you keeping busy, right? And I was, when I was younger, I didn't know really what that meant. It was like weird, like, why, why do you want to keep busy? But uh, when you don't have something to do, something meaningful to do, I think it really uh, can be unsettling. So it's good to find, you know, at least something you can put some, uh, some of your energy into, something that kind of gets you through the day. Like I see a lot of pictures now on the internet of people making bread and, you know, that creative you're actually creating what you're eating so uh, i mean there's all these sorts of different things that you know the people used to do and and that they're easy to pick up again and uh, i think people are doing a lot more of them you know people tend to fall into groups where they feel like they're very creative and there are some people that say i'm just not that kind of person can you learn creativity is it an intellectual thing an emotional thing how do we use it ah well creativity is well, creativity is one of those big words that it kind of reflects the person who's saying the word. It's like a word like, you know, <laughs> leadership or a word like integrity or like it's, you know what I mean? Um, so I think the people who, who go, I'm not creative, they're thinking of it as this, uh, they're thinking about creativity as this thing that has to be kind of perfect or professional or, um, whereas there's, what is the thing about creativity is just, we're all part, we're all creating all the time. We're all part of life and uh, life is always in movement. So you're always being creative. Everything you do is creative. So I think if you think of it more in that way, then yeah, everyone's creative that way. And, you know, pay attention to it. You can find anything to be creative with. You know, I think even uh, that's creeping into businesses too, as so many people now suddenly are working from home who never expected to. And the new uh, the new reality of existence are these boxes on our computer screen where we yeah. see ourselves with all of our coworkers. That's kind of a whole different type of creativity to be seen or be heard in one of those big Brady Bunch boxes. Yeah. And I think part of what's going on too is that people have a work facade and then a, and then they're themselves at home. And now that's really blurred. Like for someone like me, that's never really existed because, you know, I kind of do both at the same time. But I think for a lot of people having these glimpses into other people's houses and all of a sudden seeing their cats jump in the way of the camera. Um, yeah, I think it's going to change relationships. I'm not sure exactly how. Um, I advised on the internet the other day that people should, uh, you know, if they really want to uh, take things up a notch, they should have sock puppets for their meetings, you know, just. <laughs> great to see you, Bill. It's a great way to be noticed by the boss, isn't it? Ah, yeah. So, you know, uh, but I, I think it's really interesting that the, the work kind of works slash other person, the two different people who are supposed to exist there. It's kind of blurry now because people are, you know, like you, I look at your house <laughs> or, or maybe that's not your house. Maybe you just walked into somebody's place. Walked into the neighbors. <laughs> that, that, that's a great point though, about how it is kind of melding. And sometimes the best way to learn something is through example. And I'm sure you get that mm. a lot. I, I, you know, when you're somebody who specializes in creativity and performance and things like that, I'm sure that you've taken this time and you've probably, gosh, I, I can't even imagine half the things you've come up with and great ideas and accomplishments and things like that. And somebody mentioned that you sort of wrote a song about about all those things and kind of to try to remember yeah. them all. Yeah, there's um, there's been like a, a lot of stuff going around about uh, like how in other um, times like this that has actually sparked a lot of creativity. 
And uh, so I've actually, uh, I've, I've made something uh, myself. Um, and it's actually, it's kind of like, perth it's not just a thing, it's like personal growth, really. Um, something kind of just grew out of me organically. Uh, would you like to hear about it in song? We would love to hear about it. Okay. Folks, are you with me? Yay! Yay! Yeah, there's the camera. Okay. As the epidemic rages, I'm in semi quarantine. I don't see it as a problem, but as an opportunity. Uh, in similar situations, Shakespeare wrote King Lear. Newton figured out how the universe works, and I. I grew a beard. Yep, I grew a beard. And one day I put on pants. I was gonna write a novel, a play or a movie. Maybe build a big addition or a learner a gammy. Maybe change the shirt I'm wearing or possibly shave. But the only thing that I got to, oh, I missed that up. Possibly bathe. But the only thing that I got was because I forgot to shave. And that's the punchline, too. <laughs> I grew a beard. I grew a beard. And then I watched the show about the guy and the tigers and the lady and the tigers and the other guy and the tigers. And it was weird and sad. And now I don't even know if I want a tiger anymore. And now I don't even need a tiger anymore because I got something that's just as soft and furry and as wild right here. And I hear this little voice saying, what have you done today? And I say, hey there, little voice, that's a stupid thing to say. Because I spent the whole day working so hard growing this beard. And then I notice that little voice is coming from the mirror. There's another guy in there. There's a guy in the mirror and he's growing a beard too. Me and beard, me and mirror man are both growing beards, but we're too close together and not socially distant enough. So I back up three feet and he backs up three feet. We're six feet away. We did it, mirror man. We did it. Virtual high five. I grew a beard. I grew a beard. I grew a beard. Accomplishing nothing was my greatest fear. But now it seems to be perfectly clear that by doing nothing, something appeared. I grew a beard. <laughs> that, there are so many of these songs that have popped up. That is the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's, is they say, write what you know, right? And something <laughs> it is a, very, it's very close to me. Fabulous very beard, close. fabulous attitude. And uh, it didn't just fall out of the sky either. Trevor Strong mm -hmm. has been part of a, an incredible group uh, called the Arrogant Worms nope, uh, for decades now. And these guys are, if you want to, if you want to be inspired to be creative, you, you hear their songs. They're brilliant. You know, Trevor, of course, known for songs such as, well, classics like Idiot Road. And uh, and I've got the worst seat on the plane, and of course we are the Beaver, and uh, it 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 only goes up from there. Just incredible stuff, Trevor. That <laughs> all the things that you could have done, and you grew a beard. That's kind of the feeling. Yeah, no, it was it was right there all along. So. There are millions of us out here feeling that <laughs> that's probably the number one thing we come or cleaned out the garage. That'll be the follow up. Yeah. Yeah. single to it too. Do you have a um as far as creativity goes, do you have any do you have any takeaways for us? You know, what what can we learn from from the things that you teach and and the things that you've experienced in life about the power of being able to express ourselves freely like that and and in a very funny humorous way. Uh well I I mean I think the I think the key thing is uh getting out of your own way cuz um you got to like a lot of people they, they want everything to be perfect right away. And then that stops them from doing something. And you really have to, you really got to make a bit of a mess if, when you're trying to be, <laughs> be creative. Like, and you just kind of got to like, get out of your way, like find something you want to do and just start doing it. And then um, uh, don't worry about having all the skills first or don't worry about doing it the right way or who else is doing it. Just start doing it. 
And once you get going with it, then you maybe you can start picking up, you know, tips here and there. Or like if you're doing it for yourself, like really who cares if you're doing it the you know right way? You just you're just doing it, right? Yeah, it's it's not the it's not the destination. Every no. everything that you do along the way is just a little piece that leads you to the to the next path, part of the path. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to know like why you want to be creative. If you want to be creative to be a superstar or something like that, that's different than I want to be creative because I want to get doing something or I want to connect with people or something like that. It's a really it's a different mindset to have. We just want to get to where we can go back to work. <laughs> Trevor Strong, that was fantastic. Uh, thank you for the shot of creativity, the little sample of creativity and that uh, it's the kind of thing that can really, really help us pull through with the right kind of attitude, which is certainly something that we all need. And thank you very much for that. And folks, I want to remind you that you can stay informed and stay connected by going to growingbolder.com slash COVID. And also uh, be sure to like the Growing Boulder and the Florida Blue Medicare page on Facebook. Just another way and more advice for how people are getting through one of the toughest periods of our lives.